One June, the world's leader in thermal process solutions, introduces you to the E to E end to end oxidation oven for the production of carbon fiber. The oxidation process is considered to be one of the most important steps in the production of carbon fiber. Homogeneous airflow and temperature uniformity over the entire process chamber are essential to control the exothermic reaction and to achieve the desired quality and throughput of the product. As carbon fiber is applied to more industrial grade products, the global carbon fiber market grows and trends towards an increasing demand for heavy tows. One June designed the E to E end to end oxidation oven to meet these requirements for industrial grade carbon fiber production. The E to E oxidation oven maintains the parallel airflow pattern which is used in the widely applied center to end airflow. The supply air channels are only located at one end of the process chamber. The air is directed end to end through the chamber. The return air channels are located at both oven ends and capture the process air for recirculation. This new design results in a process chamber that is disturbance free. This benefits the processing of heavy tows as there are no catenary concerns. The supply end seal provides primary and secondary supply air, which ensures best in class airflow and temperature uniformity over the entire process chamber, as well as separating the contaminated process air from the external environment. The structure consists of the supply air channel, a diverter plate, and the return air channel. The secondary supply air hits a diverter plate, which splits the air into two volume streams. One stream is directed towards the process chamber. It ensures that the space in between the channels is ventilated. The second portion is directed to return channels, where it is captured. The preheated fresh air ensures fresh supply of oxygen that is required for the process. It is supplied through the fresh air channel and is captured in the return channels as well. Located on the other end of the oven is a conventional end seal that separates the contaminated process air from the external environment. The return air volume is separated into a primary and a secondary airflow. The ratio between these two airflows can be adjusted to achieve the superior performance of this end seal technology. Electric heaters can be used as the primary heat source as well as gas fired heat exchangers. A hybrid heat system allows you to benefit from accelerated heat up times as well as the lowest prices available for natural gas or electric power. Both heat sources can be incorporated on a small footprint. Filters are located upstream of the heating sources and can be removed for cleaning during operation. The fan is mounted on a base frame and can be rolled out for maintenance and cleaning. Multiple access doors are located in the oven walls to ensure optimal access to all areas of the oven. Hinged doors on the operator side of the oven allow for easy access for maintenance and cleaning. Once opened, they reveal access to the removable screens on the supply and return channels. The screens can be removed and cleaned without interfering with the tow band inside the process chamber and contribute to maximizing production uptime. The E to E oxidation oven is the next generation technology that contributes to market requirements such as maximized reliability, reduced time for maintenance and cleaning, as well as reduced energy costs and a lower capital investment while maintaining established performance parameters.